KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 3rd of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather like springtime today. Highs around 70, but things turn stormy on Wednesday. We turn colder later this week. So let's take a look at things. Upper trough coming into the western states, but a ridge here is going to set up a really nice day. Should be the warmest day so far this year for many places. But early this morning, this is a great example of why this is not a one-number place when it comes to forecasting low temperatures. Take the Tennessee Valley, for example. you got Fort Payne at 32, Muscle Shoals 23 degrees warmer at 55, Birmingham at 53, Gadsden 34. But everybody warms up with lots of sun today. Out west, winter storm warnings in effect for much of Wyoming and Utah, parts of Colorado. A winter storm watch in effect for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. So while we have this spring-like weather, it's awfully cold and unsettled out west. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. Maybe some thunder west of the state. No severe weather expected. Tomorrow, we've got a risk of severe storms from near Lufkin, Texas, up to about Memphis, the standard slight risk around the Mississippi Delta back over to Shreveport. Then on day three, the risk expands eastward. In Alabama, we've got the standard slight risk. Uh, level two out of five, the area is in yellow there, south of a line from near Grove Hill to Fort Deposit, Troy, and Eufaula. The low-end marginal risk, level one out of five, as far north as Cullman. And we'll talk more about this situation in just a second. And then on day four, which is Thursday, the risk of severe storms moves east of Alabama, clipping that southeastern corner. A lot of rain, though, this week. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. For Alabama, amounts between two and three inches in many spots, and the bulk of that's going to be tomorrow into Wednesday and Thursday, that middle of the week period. And snow, yeah, out west. Look at that. Uh, this is suggesting areas around Wichita Falls and Childress, Texas, could pick up five inches of snow here with this thing. Oklahoma City, Lubbock will see snow, and the mountains will see a lot over the next 72 hours. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough in the west, ridge in the east. And again, for us, just a beautiful day. Bright sunshine, highs around 70. Now, tomorrow, moisture will increase. And we'll bring in the chance of showers. Mostly cloudy. Highs should be in the upper 60s. Not going to rain all day, but rain at times for the northern half of the state. Nothing severe. Then for Wednesday, we got a surface load that's located around the shoals. And obviously, that's going to be an unsettled Stormy day with rain and thunderstorms likely. Uh, the question is, can you get any instability in here? Let's go to the uh, European. It's got the surface low farther to the west at 3 o'clock. And then by Wednesday night, the surface low is over Kentucky. And obviously, we're in the warm sector. This is the instability Wednesday night at midnight. And uh, there is unstable air really as far north as Tennessee and Kentucky with this feature. And that's the uh, lightning flash density product, and obviously it's going to be wet and stormy. Uh, the key, uh, it obviously, is the instability. If it rains much of the day Wednesday, that's going to really limit the instability and keep the severe weather threat fairly low. The higher instability value is projected to be across the southern quarter of the state. That's where that standard slight risk is in effect. So clearly, Wednesday's going to be a stormy day with rain and storms, maybe strong to severe. Better chance of severe weather for South Alabama, and we'll fine-tune that as we get closer. Now, Thursday, uh, we turn colder, and rain continues. Uh, temperatures will probably drop into the 50s. We'll have rain at times with the surface low moving away from us. And then Friday, we're in dry air. Uh, the high Friday should be in the low to mid-50s, which is below average for this time of the year, uh, with uh, some gradual clearing likely. Saturday as the weekend begins. We'll call it partly sunny with highs in the 50s. This is Sunday. 
Should be a sunny day with a high close to 60. And a week from today, Monday the 10th, troughing in the west. And again, a new system approaching, but we're still dry. But clouds will likely increase. This is Wednesday of next week, the 12th. Another uh, cold front coming through. That might generate some strong storms. And obviously, we don't know nine days in advance if there's a severe weather threat or not. And then uh, Thursday the 13th, new trough in the west. That initial system comes on by. This is the rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days off the European Ensemble. The mean between, well, it's actually about five inches. That's a lot. Pretty wet pattern here. And the number is still no sign of any excessively cold air. Uh, We'll be around 70 through Wednesday, then highs dropping in the low 50s on Friday, but we bounce back into the 60s early next week. And the Arctic Oscillation stays strongly positive. You want to see that thing go negative to get a big Arctic flush down through here, but so far that's not happening. And here's the CPC outlook for the 10th through the 16th of this month. Very cold in the western and northern states, but mild down here in the southeast, if that thing verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.